This is the M-Audio Hammer 88 Pro. It's the keyboard I was hoping M-Audio would make. And they did it. It's a Hammer Action 88 key keyboard and DAW controller that works with so many DAWs, including Ableton Live, FL Studio, Logic, Studio One, Reason, Cubase, Bitwig, GarageBand, Pro Tools, Reaper, and MPC Beats. Hit the like button if you heard your DAW. I've already reviewed the 25 key version of the M-Audio Oxygen Pro line, and I gave it high marks, but this is even more special, and it isn't just the keys. Today, I'm gonna give you a tour of the features the pros and the cons, and I'll let you know if I think it's right for you. I'll also compare to other 88 key MIDI controllers in this price range to help you make your decision. If you're new around here, I'm Sanjay C. I review keyboards, audio interfaces, plugins, and I have tutorials to help you produce music at home. Consider subscribing if you haven't already and hit the bell icon too. You don't wanna miss my Saturday Music Gear news reports where I highlight the latest releases in the Music Gear world and help you find free plugins and sample packs as well. All right, let's get to the exciting stuff first, the key feel. If you're a pianist, you want keys that feel good piano-like. This keyboard feels great. The weight is slightly lighter than other Hammer Action keyboards I've played. I tested it against the Native Instruments S88, Arturia Keylab 88, and keyboards by Korg and Yamaha. This was the lightest, but it's also graded, which means the lower keys are heavier than the higher keys, more like an acoustic piano. When playing, it felt good. But if you prefer heavier keys, you may prefer other keyboards like the Artoria Keylab 88. Still, this is a world of a difference compared to the semi-weighted keys on other models of the M-Audio Pro line. And it's a huge jump from mini keyboards if that's what you're used to. You can just be more expressive with this keyboard. Now, key feel aside, this keyboard has the traditional red felt above the keys, a nice, true piano-like look in fact, the premium look doesn't stop at the keyboard. This is probably the most premium looking controller keyboard out there right now. Let's talk about the build quality. The build quality is very high. This looks and feels more like a digital piano, but remember, this is a controller. The sides and front have a textured finish that feels high grade and dare I say luxurious? I don't think I've used that word to describe a keyboard on my channel before. The buttons and knobs feel okay. The quality is the same as the smaller keyboards in the Oxygen Pro line. I wish they improved the quality a bit for the 88 key version to continue the premium feel of the rest of the keyboard. The faders feel good and they sit on what feels like a metal top. It continues the premium build quality of this keyboard. I think it's metal. It must be because this keyboard is pretty heavy. By the way, it comes with a sheet music stand, which is nice to have. All right, the features. First and foremost, this is a MIDI controller keyboard, which means it doesn't have internal sounds. You need to connect this to a computer to make full use of its best features. So what can you do when you connect it with a computer? Well, one of the best features of the Hammer 88 Pro is the DAW compatibility. This keyboard is compatible with more DAWs than any other keyboard out there. And just like the other Oxygen Pro keyboards, M-Audio got it right with the Hammer 88. I tested this keyboard with Ableton Live, FL Studio, Logic Pro, Studio One, and Reason, and the core controls worked really well. If you heard your DAW on this list, I think you're gonna be happy. I had some issues with Ableton Live clip triggering, which I couldn't get to work. Scene triggering worked fine though. Device control worked well in Ableton, but controlling instruments in Logic didn't work for me. Hopefully some of these issues can be fixed through software updates. Some DAWs have more control than others, but the core functions are covered by all. Play, stop, record, track volume, things like that. And there are even shortcuts for save, quantize, view, and undo for certain DAWs. Some DAWs will also give you control of pan and sends with the knobs. It's very rare that a keyboard covers so many DAWs, and from my tests, this works pretty well. 
What's gonna be important is M-Audio's support for DAWs as they get updated. It's really important for keyboard manufacturers to maintain compatibility with DAWs over the years. By the way, if you're looking for a 49 or 61 key keyboard, I've reviewed the best premium MIDI controllers out there right now, and you can watch that video here. All right, you've got knobs and faders on this keyboard. The knobs are not endless encoders like so many other keyboards on the market today from Native Instruments, Akai, and Arturia. I do prefer endless encoders because the keyboard keeps track of where the corresponding knob or fader is in your DAW. But the Hammer 88 actually worked pretty well picking up where my DAW's position left off. It's always nice to have faders on a keyboard so you can control multiple tracks at the same time. M-Audio also allows you to control the included virtual instruments with the knobs, which is very innovative, but the execution of this feature wasn't optimal. To control Expand 2, for example, you have to press the DAW preset button and do multiple other presses just to get the keyboard ready to control the instrument. It's a lot to go through for virtual instrument control, and I think some other keyboards handle this better. The screen on the Hammer 88 Pro is useful, but it's pretty small, kind of like the Arturia 88. For the price, I expect a larger screen to navigate all the features, but you just get the most vital info. You can navigate features, check out your ARP scale and chord settings, and do a little bit more. You're not gonna be looking at this screen a lot, but it definitely gives you some good information on some more advanced functions. For around $250 more though, on the Native Instruments S88, you get large color screens, which also give you excellent feedback from your DAW, your tracks, and your instrument selection. But of course, the Native Instrument S88 doesn't include drum pads or faders. Now the screen on the M-Audio is actually useful when you start using performance features. Pressing shift and chord or scale or ARP lets you access more options for those functions. Let's actually take a quick look at the scale, ARP, and chord features next. Hey, if you're writing songs and producing music at home, you should share them with the world. It's super easy to get your music out there using DistroKid, the sponsor of today's video. DistroKid lets you upload your music to Spotify, Apple Music, YouTube Music, Pandora, Amazon, pretty much everywhere. And you can upload unlimited albums and songs for $19.99 a year. Best of all, they make it really easy. Just upload your track and some artwork and they do the rest. DistroKid also collects earnings for you when your listeners play or purchase your music. And they can help you market your music with tools built right in. A hyperfollow page lets you share your latest music with your friends on Facebook or anywhere you wanna share the link. I've actually created two dedicated videos on DistroKid to give you all the details about how it works, how you upload, how you get paid, and the features that you don't wanna miss. You can watch that video here. Check out those videos, and if you're interested in signing up for DistroKid, I'll leave a link in the video description that gives you 7% off your first year of membership. All right, the Hammer 88 Pro performance features. First, they've included scale and chord features, which are great if you're new to music theory. You turn on chords, set a scale, and you'll have chords or a scale corresponding to that key. It's very useful. Set a scale and the M audio duplicates the correct notes. The ARP feature is pretty good, and you have settings for octave range, movement, gate, and swing too. The Oxygen Pro keyboard also features a note repeat button, which is super fun to use for drums. The R features are really nice when you connect this to a synth. Speaking of connection options, on the back of the keyboard, you've got MIDI ins and outs, USB, of course, and four pedal ports. There is an external power option, which isn't included with a keyboard, but this thing actually runs off of USB power, so you don't really need it. 
Hey, if you're enjoying this video, don't forget to hit the like button. And if you have a question, leave it in the comments below. So what else do you get with this keyboard? Well, software. Like the other Oxygen Pro keyboards, this one comes with Pro Tools First, MPC Beats, and Ableton Live Lite. And they've included some nice instruments from Air, including Hybrid 3, Velvet, Mini Grand, Vacuum, Boom, and DB33. They also throw in a collection of sample expansion packs from Makai. If you're starting out, it's a pretty good collection. So you heard me compare the M Audio Hammer 88 Pro with the S88 from Native Instruments and the Keylab 88 by Arturia already. As far as the key feel is concerned, I think you'll be fine with any one of these hammer action keyboards. When it comes to fully weighted hammer action keys, these three keyboards are the main contenders. And the M Audio is now the cheapest of the three. $100 cheaper than the Arturia and $250 less than the Native Instruments. The one thing that the Arturia Native Instruments do better is integrate with their own software. With Arturia, you get tight integration with Arturia's Analog Lab software and their huge collection of software synths and pianos. Native Instruments is fully integrated with the Complete Control software, which is especially great for browsing and choosing presets. If you want that sort of integration, you'll need to pay a little more to get it. Arturia also gives you some extra connectivity with CV ports in the back of the Keylab 88. Now, if you don't need hammer action keys, you might get better DAW integration with Novation keyboards for Ableton or Nectar keyboards for FL Studio users. Consider that when making your choice. But I have a feeling you're here because you want that piano-like feel, and M Audio definitely delivers this. The Hammer 88 Pro is an excellent choice if you want piano-like keys and excellent DAW compatibility at a budget price. Right now, this is as budget as it gets, and I think you'll be happy with it. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button if you found this video useful. Keep making the music you love. And if you wanna learn more about producing music at home and the latest gear, make sure you subscribe and watch my Saturday news reports for free plugins every week. I'll see you later.